Yeah, Scorpio, this is your August predictions here with me, the funky oracle for Love Career Money and Soul Plan. Let's dive in. Let's start. I'm Xenia, the funky oracle, and this is your August prediction for your sign. Scorpio, I really feel you. I have a lot of Scorpio energy myself, so I can't wait to see what the cards and the intuition, the higher self is going to tell us. Before I start, I want to mention that you can purchase your personal reading on thefunkyoracle.com and on the same web page you will find deep reprogramming audios for your subconscious programs that you connect with workout routines that we also offer you on our instagram profiles like funky oracle or funky fitness girl or intrinsic x and um, yeah you can uh, continue the good work you can help yourself with these audios this is your audio your hour if you want to your hour protection um if you have some questions don't hesitate to write me um, a message, uh, write me an email or just comment your question below. Um, allow me to connect myself with your energy. I love you. I love myself. I love what is. I'm the love. I'm light. I'm you. I'm gonna track and I'm gonna check your love, career, money, soul plan situation. So if you wanna check it with me, comment with something nice below that means to you that you're listening, that you want to, that you're connected, that you're open. Let's start. Love, Korea, money, and the soul plan. So what do we see here? First of all, I share it with you. We have Eight of Cups. We have for Love. We have King of Cups for Korea. So, oh my God, it's everything the Cups energy. Queen of Cups for money and uh, Princess of Cups for soul plan. So all four cards go for the water energy and this is your sign this is your energy uh, we are in august energy right now and august is ruled by leo if we go with the astrology that we all know so leo wants you to empower yourself in the energy that is or that was written for you and this energy is the water energy I was analyzing the sign and the animal, the, the being, the species of Scorpio myself, because here in Mexico they live freely, you can find them under the rock if you want to, or they, you can find them on the street. My boyfriend was playing with the Scorpios in his childhood, something for me, who was born in Russia in the European part, um, is totally unusual, because it's a dangerous, it's an exotic animal. And um, actually, Scorpio itself doesn't have to do in the nature out there, nothing with the water, or maybe some of them, but not the regular one. They live um, under the earth or they live very hidden. And uh, I think for us humans, this hidden power is our, or are our emotions. And you, Scorpio, as a sign, has this power of being able to hide, being able to fulfill your day, sustain your life and protect yourself, right? The Scorpio has kish, the kish um, tail and as every sign has its power and its own protection. The protection of the lion is the hair, the, the shape, um, the abilities and this is what Leo energy, I think, is calling up in you. August, and maybe also now, in general this month, or in general this video, when you're watching me, there is no perfect, like the time is now, so if you're watching this, this is for you now. That means, again, this month is about stepping up into your power, understand that your abilities are growing, that emotional power emotional stability is what has to connect all the parts of your life your relationship your career your money situation and also your soul plan this is like an overall what i see here let's dive in into a specific card 
I will see here King of Cups for relationship. Congratulations. Um, you attracted the man that supposed to be the father of your kids, if you're planning kids. Um, at the same time, I see um, it could be also your energy, the masculine inside of you, the inner father, the inner masculine, the, um, the, the sexual masculine energy, the testosterone is reaching out to the point of a king, king of emotions, king of feelings, king of water. So something that I mentioned, right, Scorpio doesn't have that much in common with the water in the nature out there. It has more some sort of warrior character, if you want to. This warrior is becoming soft in the relationship. And not only soft because you allow others to do things with you because maybe you're a strong empath. No, your masculine is reaching out to a king. So you know your power and you know that the others know that this is your power and your power wants to be tested. Even though if you're a biggest, strongest lion out there, you will get bored. If you have no competition, if you always have food, if you have no competition, for example, right? If there are no limitations, the life will get suck. So it might be tricky. It might be maybe shaky. Maybe your relationship to yourself or to your loved one might have some sort of seductive fearful energies but trust me this is only for you so you can step up finally into your own strong masculine emotional masculine because you're a very honest sign you don't want to attract and you don't want to deal with something that doesn't resonate with you leo is the same fixed sign as you are so here we're talking between kings this is like a kingdom energy this is someone who doesn't want to deal with the small business or cheaty relationship with cheating or something like behind the back um, like talking behind someone's back no you're a very honest person so everything that happens to you happens for you for your own power so don't be afraid to step up step up into this power of the strong understandable human being with attention healthy boundaries i think you are gaining a lot of power in your emotional stability especially if it comes to emotional boundaries to other people as end of on top of this not only other people you love ones and this is the strongest the hardest part because if you love someone if you fall in love with someone if you are with someone it's like you are them so if you're already setting healthy boundaries it has to mean something very very big for you especially if you're in a relationship with someone you truly love it's a very, very strong move that means i'm not telling that you're not telling the person that you don't need this person emotionally you just tell where are your boundaries so you both for example your man your woman he is a man and if you're stepping into this power that you realize, I don't want to play these games anymore, even though if it com comes to things that normal for him, and you still have to say no. So don't be afraid of this, because you help your man in intensively. Especially if you are strongly in love, if you don't allow others to interact maybe too much with your relationship, so you really take care of this emotionally. And if you do this internal, you help your man to set the same boundaries to someone else. It's like a domino principle. So take care of how you do this. I know that if you're a woman, especially, it's not that easy. So we have an ocean of emotions to handle. But also I want to say, if I'm talking this so carefully and well-balanced and I'm talking about boundaries here, it doesn't mean that you have to act this way. Maybe your way of showing boundaries is to scream and throw a plate. Why not? Right? Or maybe just to quiet down and don't write back anymore. And if you're seeking to this emotional stability so you can protect yourself even from the close ones, you have to do what's good for you. It, the other person might don't like it, but it's not your problem. Because those who want to stay with you, 
They want to you, the real you, the whole you. So if the life is shaking you and you are seeking for new solutions, everything new is just old stuff that was got forgotten. So step up into your power while remembering who you truly are, what helped you through the life, and just take it, shake it, make it clean, and use it in a new glow. It's like a pair of jeans that you've been you haven't used for so long but now you know how to trend how to use the trend how to use it for now so relationship career out of cups uh, career wise you see a huge potential this is crazy it's like you finally see it you just know this is it i just said healthy boundaries for relationship and this bound um, to something or to someone or somewhere you see it now and honestly for it's like neither nor i was so euphoric about this to tell you you know the truth but to know the truth isn't always easy right so what will help you to understand what's right what's not right for you again your healthy boundaries what helps you personally to sustain the daily life well being nice or just having good time with your loved ones should also help you in a career. So the standards of how you treat your loved ones at home, I think should become the standards for your work. Because otherwise, why are you doing this for? Right? Sometimes you can be a very successful coach for relationships, but your own relationships is a mess. Or your own relationship can be very, very good, but you can't transmit it to the others, even though you should. Because with this personal example of your healthy, strong relationship, you could help others. Like you could be mother or father, or you as a couple could be like a mother or father parents for someone else. It could be adaptation. Yes, maybe you will get a kid, you will adopt something, or... I also speak here about um, to take advantage of the situation to see why you're here. If you're here to experience things, all right, take it. If you already have a lot of emotional power and you, no matter how life treats you, you always maybe help yourself through your emotions. All right, so start believing yourself. If you see this path to your success and you know this is it, Maybe try it yourself first and then take your loved ones with you. So whatever, maybe that, and maybe that's why you have to set healthy boundaries because you believe that your loved ones don't believe you. So you have to go forward by yourself. I'm testing the new format of helping myself and only record a certain time of words. So what I want to tell you for money, if you go this way that you say, fuck it, I will do it my way. If you don't believe me, I will prove you this is exactly the energy that you needed from the outside, right? Because you probably couldn't turn on yourself before, especially if it comes to money. Because as I said, Scorpio, you're very empathic and uh, you're sometimes so shy and so small or you make yourself so small, so you don't allow yourself to celebrate the financial. So I see here for the career capricorn energy saturn energy moon energy maybe you want to deal with some yogis maybe you want to deal with some people who are moving a lot of money maybe you want to or yogis who move a lot of money even better so i see a connection between spiritual and the financial world here um just because of you i think this is the way of the way of this world how you see this world you always feel connected um, and if you earn the money it's for you to celebrate the life and i think this is what will happen that as soon as you start setting healthy boundaries personally um, your career will start getting clear and clear just don't forget who helped you to get there and uh, keep it in a healthy balance and uh, remember that you have to eat every day you need a ha um, roof above your head right you need a bed you need a house you, maybe you need some other safeties and um, so this is like a needs of a mother of a kid uh, of a mother who takes care of the kids and um, if i 
see your soul plan card, which is a princess of cups. I see someone who is uh, celebrating their life. So in August, don't stress. You're already doing the work. Um, focus on the good things. Focus on that you're still young, that you still have time. Don't stress yourself. Yes, you have responsibilities. You need money for this. So if it comes to money, I would recommend you, Scorpio, maybe not only in August, because the money thing is always there. So take this seriously. Take also my word seriously. So maybe it will help you long term to manage your money situation. If it comes to money, you have to act as a woman, as a woman, as a mother uh, that needs bed, needs everything to take care of the family. Especially if you are not single anymore, because I think sometimes, or if you have been single for a while and now you're in a relationship again, or you have a kid for the first time, you're in a role that you never experienced the way that you would like to experience, or maybe that the way you're already experiencing, for example, you're in a healthy relationship, different to your parents, for example, right? You are um, having kids or you're planning kids or you're just feeling comfortable with your role as a mother, as a woman, as a girlfriend, that may be also new for you. So you use this power of I'm here, I'm the queen, I'm the diva when it comes to money. So, right? Okay, but not always. You have to learn to switch. Yes. Soul plan is like um, step down, step back. If it comes to money, you can be a beast, a little bit feisty. But overall, be cool. Everything is fine. Career-wise is settled. I think the Eight of Cups, I really want to show it to you. It looks like, come on, it's done. You just need to go one step after another. Maybe this is a Saturn. Maybe this is... It's not a Saturn. It doesn't have a ring. Maybe it's a Mars. I think Mars is the energy of you and the Aries. This is like some sort of going home or going the path um, that you already know. There where you go, people are waiting for you. So imagine that your goal or the party of your life, the dream work, team, business is here and uh, they're waiting here. They're all waiting there, for example, right? And the only thing you have to do in order to experience this is to walk there. What could mean that maybe in August you understand, all right, your dreams in the career doesn't, don't show up, show off that fast, but it's a secure thing if you stay on this path. Maybe you should think about this. Maybe you're standing there and you say, you know what? I already see the path and it's not what I want. Amazing. So you have this ability to understand the timelines and you can switch. Here we go. But the most important thing, take action or slow down, but be aware of your emotions. This is your power. Use your emotions also for yourself. Very important. Be patient with yourself in August. Be the best parent that you could ever be for yourself. The best father, the best mother. If you have children, other people that you can take care of, especially if they're smaller than you, so you can really feel this parenting thing, I really recommend you to test with them. If they're testing you, it's amazing. Um, take this responsibility and train with them and then use this emotional power for yourself very important and you will see as soon as you see that you have responsibilities that people or cats or even even though even though they are maybe for example birds i remember 2020 i started to feed birds in germany on my balcony and i felt so, so seen so like because i stepped back i didn't want to have to see anyone i was cleaning every everything for the big step here in mexico and I remember I was feeding the birds and they were com coming and it was so beautiful. So it's like a connection with the nature. Use your own stories. This is all what I want to tell you. Your empathy is your power. This is why regisseurs, this is why we need regisseurs, for example. Or this is why we need artists. This is why we need art. Especially when the times are hard. What helps us? Beauty, feminine energy, creation right? But your time is here. Don't take it too seriously. Don't take it too heavy. 
keep it in a healthy balance, be the best parent for yourself. And you, I believe, I promise you that August or in general, the month, August, the summer itself, your life, you will feel the power again. Don't dim to fit in. And if you feel dimmed, see what life tells you, what you have to see in this darkness, because there is a lot of, there are a lot of possibilities, even though you think there are no possibilities at all. So my darling Scorpio, I hope I help you with your situation, that you feel more powerful, more stable. Let me know in the comments how you like the new look, how you like the new light and cards and everything. Um, yeah, and visit the website. Help yourself with the audios of deeper programming. And I see you on this channel again soon. Bye. I'm this power that I feel. I'm love and wisdom. Today.